All right. Good morning and happy Monday. Uh, here we're back with a new one. Um, yeah. If you're new here, go ahead and um, you know um, subscribe and hit the like button for post notifications. Um, yeah, this is kind of a follow-up video from my last video. So yeah, the market is still a lot going on with crypto. Um, despite everything what happened with this whole FTX thing, some cryptos are actually pumping. Uh, you know, I was on Coinbase, about five or six cryptos, you know, pumped, you know, up to six. Um, it's just one crypto that pumped over. Yesterday, pumped over 400 or something percent. It's called Media, Media something. I'm going to have to go back and look for it. But um, yeah, that crypto pumped over, you know, 400 something percent, you know, shouts out to people who diamond hand on that play, you know, however, how long they were, they were holding it, you know, so yeah, whoever was holding that crypto, uh, it's called media something, I'm gonna go back and look, but yeah, shouts out to those who diamond handed on that one, uh, but yeah, so despite, um, you know, what's going on is, I was, you know, I was kind of thinking about this whole FTX thing, yeah, his name was um, Sam um, uh, Bandon, Sam, Sam Bandon, you know, Bandon, um, what is it, um, uh, Freed, uh, whatever, Sam Brandon Freed, but anyways, the guy's a, um, you know, we all know, you know what happened, he's a scumbag, you know, the hope they investigate, it, they need to also investigate whoever was in, you know, who was connected with him, but anyways, there's still a lot going on with crypto, some cryptos, are, you know, we're, I, I probably believe we're going to recover from this, and like I said, I was really thinking that, um, you know, despite this whole thing, you know, that happened with FTX and, you know, um, these other um, um, exchanges, you know, I just want to say that um, it's a good thing. I'll say it's a good thing that this happened now, because think about it like this. If this would have happened, like, um, if this if this would have happened right, but, you know, the beginning of our crypto bull run. Or right, or in the middle of a crypto bull run, it, you know, would have been bad. You know, it possibly could have ended a bull run early. You know, but it, I think it's kind of a good thing that you know they're weeding out these bad people in crypto like now. You know, while we're still in the because technically we're still in a crypto bear market. So this last flash crash that we had, maybe hopefully this could be our last, you know, flash crash that we experienced. Uh, well, but yeah. But yeah, um, <laughs> okay, sorry about that, guys, got interrupted, yeah, <laughs> neighbors, but anyways, um, yeah, so, you know, like I said, this whole FTX thing, you know, I'm kind of glad this happened now, it's a good thing it happened now, because, you know, that way, so they can go ahead and weed out the bad people in crypto, you know, it, it, you know, I hate it, it had to happen like this, because this is a big one, and I'm also hearing about crypto.com, they, they're also, possibly did something that was kind of shady they were saying that something like um a few billion dollars of, of bitcoin was missing or they said something like they accidentally sent their crypto to a to a wallet or something or like that i don't know was something going on with crypto.com that seemed kind of off so you know but pay close attention while well, i was looking at the crypto.com coin the chronos coin the crow they actually pumped about 10 percent recently so people are obviously buying in the crow but yeah, but but that but the actual exchange crow, the exchange, yeah, they're looking kind of fishy also. But yeah, this whole thing is get, is blowing over this whole FTX thing. But the, but despite all this going on, some cryptos are already recovering. Some cryptos are already pumping back up. So yeah, you know we're you know we're going to be resilient. Uh, also, um, uh, let's talk about uh, Jasmine Coin. Jasmine Coin, you know we went down the uh, we went back down to point zero zero three five. And then we went back up to point zero. Right now, as I make this video, we're at point zero zero three eight. So we're making a small comeback. I highly believe that possibly later on this evening or tonight, we could possibly get back into the forties. Matter of fact, there's a likely chance we could get back into the you know into the point you know double zero point zero zero forties. You know, because like I said, J Jasmine Coin is looking you know you know it's looking like it wants to pump. You know, despite everything what happened with this whole FTX thing. But you know, we hoping all the when all the smoke clears, you know, with that, you know, we gather crypto, you know, we're going to regroup, you know, hopefully this whole, hopefully regulation is going to come in for the exchanges that where our money, our crypto could be FDIC insured at least up to, at least up to like a hundred thousand or 150 or doing like a regular bank or 
two hundred and like in banks, your money is insured up to two hundred and fifty thousand. I'm hoping they can at least do something like that for us, you know, especially for people who's really holding, you know, who really got bigger, you know, bigger portfolios in crypto. You know, I'm just I'm just a small guy. I don't got close to that. I'm just literally I'm, I'm really just trying to get up there. Uh, but yeah, also uh, before I end this video, I want to mention about um, um, so coins. Uh, I was watching Coin Bureau. You know, they're, this is one of the best crypto news sites. I highly recommend you guys go to YouTube and watch also Corn Barrel. This guy, he breaks down crypto to the T. He breaks down the latest news and he even get technical. That's why I love it so much. You know, Corn Barrel. Yeah, I highly recommend to watch, to check out his videos. Um, but also, um, you know, before I end this, um, I wanted to mention that this whole FTX thing, they were saying that, um, cryptos that were tied into FTX, like FTX, you know, um, basically to make a long story short, there was cryptos that was really, that was, you know, more connected with FTX. Like for an example, um, Solana coin, Solana coin was heavily tied into FTX somehow. And Solana coin took a big hit after the whole FTX thing. Solana coin literally went from what? $30 a coin all the way down to like 12 something. But it looked like it's, it's trying to recover right now. I think it's back up to 13 or 14. It could be. But Solana coin really got hit. And, and there's a, in different. I think there's a couple of altcoins that's connected to Solana coin. That, that was also connected to FTX. So the coins, the altcoins and Solana coins that was connected to FTX, they got hit hard. Yeah. And, I'll, and, I'm, I'm, and I just want to say I was watching Corn Bureau. And, and I, I commented below. I commented uh, below, and um, I commented below, and and um, and I was like, I'm highly glad that um, that Jasmine Coin was not connected to FTX, because if if, if Jasmine Coin, you know, was connected to FTX, how are you doing? If um, if Jasmine Coin was connected to FTX, we obviously would have been screwed. But I'm, I'm I just want to say I'm so glad that Jasmine Coin had nothing to do with FTX. I'm quite sure Jasmine Coin could have been on their exchange. Where you can buy and sell it or whatever, but it, but it wasn't tied into it like Solana, some a few other coins, and I because I think there's a site you go to, I think it, is it coin not not Coin Market Cap, but if you go to CoinDesk, yeah, if you go to if you go to the website CoinDesk or whatever, it'll show you the coins or our coins that was really tied into FT into FTS, like Solana was one of the main ones, and they like I said they got hit hard, and a couple of all coins, but yeah, but I just want to you know give you guys an update on that, that Jasmine. I had no relation to um to uh, FTX because Jasmine is actually it's a Japanese project. These guys are from Japan, and they're connected to like Sony. Some of these people are like executives with Sony. You know, Sony ain't going nowhere, obviously. And Jasmine is being integrated with Sony because we all know Sony made cameras, TVs, um, obviously the the PlayStation, the consoles. You know, so you know Sony even make a I think yeah they even make a smartphone. Yeah, we all know Sony ain't going nowhere. They've been around a long time and their product and they make a good product. Yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, I want to go ahead and end it there. Yeah, don't forget. Yeah, just go ahead and comment below. Just tell me what you think. And if you're new here, subscribe and hit the like button, you know, to help out the um uh to help out the algorithm. Hey, I will hope you guys have a good Monday. Hey, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.